They murdered 19 year old Curtis Mason Smith expected to speak tomorrow in Frederick County and today we're learning a little bit more about his accused killer and a reported friend Joshua Eckenrod. WMER 2 News Dave Detling has more from the Frederick County Sheriff's Office and what investigators found during a search of properties linked to Eckenrod. Well, during this investigation, investigators were able to recover nine guns, two explosive devices and one tactical vest. And investigators say while this did involve a loss of life, they believe they were able to foil a mass casualty event. The bigger picture is and you know, it, it's a tragedy that that Mason lost his life is that through the detectives work, we were able to find uh, Josh's plans to maybe do something nefarious to a lot of people. The Frederick County Sheriff's Office speaking out following the arrest of 19 year old Joshua Eckenrode. He's charged with first degree murder along with firearm use in a violent crime. Investigators say evidence shows he killed Smith at a family home on Bethel Road before transporting the body to this abandoned property on Runny Mead Drive. A search of properties associated with the suspect revealed weapons, explosive devices, written plans, and a letter written to family, all indicating Ecken Road may have been planning a mass casualty event. We have enough evidence to show that he was planning something. Uh, we found two devices that, uh, through the help with the Maryland Bomb Squad and ATF, we were able to render those devices safe. We also found bomb making material at two different locations. As for a motive behind Smith's murder, police are still investigating. And we're told Ecken Road waived his right to a bond review, which was scheduled for 1 p.m. this afternoon. He remains locked up without bond at the Frederick County Adult Detention Center. In Frederick, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.